It's another day in the neighborhood. Get him. Come on, Chevy. You're bigger than him. Fight back. Don't go easy on him because he's old. He started it. <laughs> he gets so angry. Diesel obviously used to dominate him. And now Chevy's gotten so big that he can't beat him anymore. <laughs> and it makes Diesel so mad. <laughs> So oh, good morning. It's another new day. One came around again right on time, right when we expected it to. Here it is. Overcast again, but that's winter. You know, Manitoba actually has a lot of sunshiny days. Someone was asking me if Canada is overcast all the time. First of all, Canada is the second largest landmass on the planet, so we have many different climates within our borders. But here in Manitoba, I can speak for us here, we actually have about 300 days of sunlight a day, a, a year. 300 a day, whoa. I'm still waking up, I haven't had my coffee yet. Over 300 days of sunlight and sunshine. I gotta say that right again. No, we have sunlight 365 and a quarter days a year. We have sunshine, clear skies, approximately 300 of those days. Does that make sense? So we do get a lot of sunshine, it's just this time of year. This is pretty much what we're left with to deal with. So it gets kind of gloomy, but hey, at least we're not the West Coast, right? All they get is this all year round and rain. And it's not even that cold out. I guess it looks kind of cold to some of you who aren't used to snow. Nah, this isn't, this isn't, I'm, I'm out here without a face mask on because uh, my face won't freeze off. I mean like a, a, a balaclava, not one of those face masks you need to wear into stores. I wouldn't wear one of those in my own yard. That'd be weird, but uh, no gloves. If this was winter time, I wouldn't be out here without gloves. Anyways, welcome to the vlog. Let's have some fun today. See what we can get up to. Oh. Oh. There it is. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? It's a great part of the day. Wiener. Acting more like yourself today? Has he been coughing at all? Uh, just a wee tiny bit. Let's get down to your level. Way down here. How's the weather down here, bud? How's the weather down here? Can't even reach into the toy basket. It's such a they, shame. They usually tell me when they want to go in there and then I tip it for them. There we go. What do you want? Look at him. What He's all into the toys now. You're getting better, eh? What do you want? Go get a toy. What do you want? Which one do you want? Oh, always the bone, right? Always the bone. Yeah. Is he gonna carry it in his mouth? Wow. He's gonna try. <laughs> good for you, Wiener. He's feeling a lot better today, so that's good. We got a couple of errands to run around town today, and then we're gonna go see some baby piglets at cousin Chris and Tanya's farm. Apparently, uh, is it a sow, a female pig? One of their pigs had babies. Yeah. Miss Massey, the pot belly. Uh -huh. Last time it was Kathleen's piglets, now it's Miss Massey. They were a little early too, right? Uh, yeah, four days early. Mm. Before we go anywhere, I need to put a hat on. Have I told you guys that my hairdresser screwed up? Badly. That's not an actual natural bald spot. That is some mistake. It's well. actually, it, it, <laughs> it is thinning, but she cut it shorter there by accident, right where it was thinning, so it looks like I'm balding faster than I am. And she said nothing about it. Yeah, and she said nothing, yeah. And until then I got she home. forgot a sideburn. She was new. Yeah, well. All right, so we have some errands to run. I think I've got everything. Oh, we gotta move the vehicles around. We gotta flip them around. We can only fit our vehicles in single file in our driveway, so. Uh, try not to use the pickup every day for all the errands and stuff if we don't have to. Got everything you need? I think so. It's just a quick Whoa. Move this beast out of the way. Hey, I remembered to turn the heat up this time. I'm in the passenger seat. I feel so out of control. Good thing she's a good driver. Some people I don't trust as much, but her, I trust her. You better, you married me. Yeah, I married her for her driving skills, mostly. I thought it was because I can cook. 
No, it's all for no, it's just your driving skills. Oh, okay. Look at all these little houses here. That looks like grandma and grandpa's house growing up, but it was a different one. It was close by though, I think it was on the street over. Our house like goes long back and then like you know like if you took it and reversed it and put it lengthwise, that was how most houses were built back in the day. Yeah. And they started with these bungalows. I like these bungalows, they're nice. Pretty standard. Mm. Standard house. Well, that's an itty bitty one. <laughs> well, yeah. it's about the same size as ours. <laughs> it's true, yeah. Less is more. And now they're coming up with all these condos. Steinbeck is huge into these condos now. I'm not a condo person. I don't I don't think I would be there. I get the point that like, you don't have to take care of the yard, but you're you're paying for an apartment. It, it makes sense for like older people with a lot of money, but it's yeah. expensive. As you get older and you want to still own it and like have equity and you know, because you can sell it for more than you bought it. I get it. You don't have a yard to take care of, but there's condo fees. I don't know much about it, honestly. I have no idea what's going on. I get that, but they're really pricey, like, for basically a glorified apartment. Yeah. Like, on top of condo fees, I don't feel that it's right. I feel that people who build condos are gouging people, but that's yeah. just my opinion. And you can't have pets, either. Well, you can in some, I believe. Oh... All right, who's going in? I just want to give you a little more room, even though you're not getting out. I'm going in. Okay. Get some stamps, some coffee filters. She's braver than me. I never park between vehicles like this, so I'm scared they're going to ding my doors. Oh, she's, you're sitting in here to watch, so. She's a trusting woman. <laughs> she trusts our neighbors. See, she got out. She just about hit our door. But she didn't. That was close, though. Excuse me, dear. Got to get me a mask. Found one. Barely any dog hair. Bonus. That's almost unheard of on anything that we own. So other than going to see the piglets this afternoon, we don't really have anything planned. I do have to drop off a Christmas card with mom that she's going to, uh, she's going to get it to grandpa. Remember a couple of days ago, we were wondering if we could bring them a Christmas card. Uh, mom's going to bring them, I guess, uh, all of ours at once. I guess it's just easier that way. Less people have to go into the hospital at a time. We still can't go into his room or anything, but uh, the nurses, I'm guessing, will will get it to him. At least you'll have a friendly face to look at and a little bit of Christmas cheer because this Christmas is going to be really depressing. And everybody can use a little bit of a pick-me-up, I think. She put me back in the driver's seat. <laughs> people are crazy along this stretch of highway. <laughs> So we're at mom and dad's house right now. Ma. Britt is just going to drop off the card for mom. Well, she's dropping it off here for mom so that mom can laminate it. Because when you laminate it, you can disinfect it and then bring it in there. don't think she was home, so I'll just message her and let, it, let her know it's in the mailbox. Okay. Her isolation is over now. Yep. She must be grocery shopping or who e knows. Exploring, yeah. enjoying the outdoors. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's uh, pretty awesome. She was in direct contact with Grandpa when he had his COVID-19, and she didn't. She she was careful. Like I said, she was being careful, and she didn't pick it up. She nailed so, it. That's good. And Grandpa's still on the mend. He's uh, just recovering a little slower than we'd like him to, but he's getting there. Now at least you'll have some smiling faces. Some familiar faces to put on his walls, I guess. Mm -hmm. Something to motivate him to get better because he's having a bit of a rough time. Yeah, he's, well, he's, he's older. It just takes his body longer to fight stuff off. I couldn't help it. Trucker Josh has truck withdrawal. I had to come look. Look at this one. This one looks fun. I'm going to pull him beside it. I'd like to turn this one into a big giant pickup. You see? There's the front of the cab. And you put a big box on the back. It's a big giant pickup. Creative. The Trucker Josh mobile. Should we do it? No. No? We don't have room in the driveway anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a look at it. Look, and right behind it, there's a GLP. Enterprises. Oh yeah. Ad. 
they built our fence. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good service. <laughs> Look at this beautiful Chevrolet. Woo. That's gorgeous. We had to stop and take a look at this thing. I mean, yeah. Windows are so dirty. I don't want to touch it right now, but classic, eh? PH Phrase Kleefelt. Huh. And the sign that says pretty good service is facing the shop. So I guess it has to, it's to remind them. It's not to tell the people on the highway that they got pretty good service here. It's to remind the people in the shop, hey, we got pretty good service. <laughs> this is actually a really good shop. I'm just messing around with them. But uh, Martin Diesel here, this is where my dad takes his truck to get uh, fixed. I've had my truck fixed here several times. Uh, they do really good work. This is their sign here is a little funny. Pretty good. Eh, pretty good. Not great. Pretty good. And GLP fencing. I never saw the sign here yet, but they are the ones who built our fence around our yard. So if you want to uh, get your own fence done, there you go. They did really good work for us. Oh, it's got an old school Manitoba plate on it too. 92. Oh, this thing was last registered and on the road in 92. That's actually not too long ago for this thing. Oh, they got another one over there. On a flatbed. No sign on that one, though. I'm gonna go take a look at it. I'm gonna go take a look at it real quick. Real quick. This one's a Mercury. Oh, that is truly a classic. They don't even make them anymore. Look how narrow these trucks were. Like, this was the pickup truck of the past. Look how narrow they were back then, eh? That's awesome. Put the steering wheel. <laughs> That's amazing. How tiny that cab is. I would love to own that. Fix it up. Use it as my Sunday cruiser. But for now, this one will do. This one comes with a wife. It's me. I like those signs they got on there, the Texaco and Chevrolet. It's a nice old Tahoe too. And what is that? A Yukon, an old Yukon there. Classics. Classics, classics. I like these old internationals. Nice looking truck. Just looks like a beast from here, eh? That grill is just massive. That's awesome. Couldn't help myself, had to come take a look. We do do some trucking still uh, on my other channel, TJV Gaming. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, there's a link down below in the description of my video. I still want to turn that into a big pickup. <laughs> Maybe someday, honey. Hey, Diesel. You were looking at trucks, weren't you? I can smell them on you, I smell Diesel, man. Chevy, got his favorite frog. Can you sit? Show everybody your favorite toy. Can you sit? No, not right now. No, yeah, no, get it, no, get it. All right. Hi, guys. We always get a welcome, like a rock star welcome when we come home. Darn right, we do. Diesel, can you smell the semi trucks on Dad? Yeah, I think you can. You can sense it. He's got his frog. I got my frog. I'm packed. Let's go. <laughs> this is kind of a big deal. Quite the, uh, quite the stack here. Got a lot of, a lot of cars. Oh man, look at that. All Christmas. Christmas. So today's the big day when we mail them off. We meant to do it much sooner, but we kept saying tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. It's been our theme this whole week. We'll just do it tomorrow. Do it tomorrow. And then Christmas star cards started to arrive in the mail for us from other people and then she got upset. I was very upset. I can't believe people beat me to the punch. <sighs> so we got cards going to the US. We got cards going all over Canada. All the way from 
Ontario to BC. I don't think anyone passed Ontario. No, we don't have any family in Quebec or East. No, but uh, yeah, big time of the year when we mail those off. When I was single before I met her, I never bothered, but it's become a tradition that she mostly takes care of, thank God. Mostly? She completely oh, takes really? care of the whole thing <laughs> from start to finish. But I show up for the picture. All we did was take a selfie this year. Last year we took some <laughs> pictures on our phone. We haven't shown them yet, have we? Oh, I don't think no. we have. I don't know, I got one right here. This is our Christmas card this year that we're sending out. Spoiler alert for those that we're sending. Is oh yeah, one? spoiler alert. <laughs> That's okay. Doesn't matter. Should I not Doesn't matter. put it in there? Doesn't matter. Okay, well you know what you're getting. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! Yeah, so uh, next year, we don't have a P.O. box open. Uh, uh, several of you have asked me if we have a P.O. box for you to send us Christmas cards and stuff. We don't have any place for you to send that to this year. We're going to probably, guys. you know, we're going to probably open one up in spring or next year. And that'll be our public P.O. box. And uh, we'll let you guys know. Just uh, make sure you, you're subscribed to the channel here and hit that bell so you get notified for every video because in one of those videos, we don't know which one, but one of those videos, we're going to be revealing our new P.O. box in the new year. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon, yes. So on a little behind the scenes tidbit here, I've got to re-render my vlog that you guys watched yesterday. For me, I'm just, I just had it rendered and I was about to release it and the audio didn't come through on it. So I have to redo it, and that takes about an hour and a half for it to render. And then I have to upload it and put the thumbnail on it and release it to you. So yesterday's vlog got up a little late for you guys. If you're wondering why, that's why. Something on my computer here messed up. I mean, it was probably me, but I'm going to blame the computer. Either way, it was the computer's fault the vlog was late yesterday. Frank, what's your title going to be for today? I mean, you're moving through the ranks like crazy, man. You don't want to talk about it? Doesn't want to talk to me, lowly peasant. Yesterday you were Frank the Great. You've been commander in chief. I don't know, man. I don't know about you. His stories keep getting wilder and wilder. I don't know if I can believe all of them. You have a lot of stories from the war, man. It's crazy. He's in the Great Milkbone War. He's a seasoned veteran. Several deployments, from, from what I've heard. I mean, every day he has a new story for us, but... I'm starting to think he might be making them up. All right, guys. We're gonna be able to see some little baby pigs, okay? Chevy, you're in charge. I put Chevy in charge. Oh, that's probably wise. Mm -hmm. He's the most mature out of all of them. Ain't that the truth. I'm probably gonna need this too, so I'm gonna bring that. Just in case. Just in case. It's an outdoors event. All right. Lock the door. Let's go see some piglets. Here we are. We have arrived. At the farm. We're just going to call it the farm. The farm. Rocking Kettle Acres. Don't forget to go check out Country Chris on YouTube. I'll try to remember to make sure to add that uh, link down below in the description again. I did in the last video, but I did it a little late. Darn it, Josh. I know, I know. But uh, Rocking Kettle Acres on YouTube, Country Chris. That's my cousin. This is his farm. They are some of our favoritest people. The favoritest people, Favoritest. Yes. I don't use that word lightly. It's a big, it's a big term to throw around. It is. Let's go see some goats. Piglets. And piglets, yes. Oh, 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 I'm gonna need this hat. I'm gonna need this hat. It's very important. Oh, there they are. There they are. How's it going, Elvis? Man, I look good. Look at me. Look at this side. You looking? You looking? All right, now look at this side. Look at the back. He really is threatening for you. <laughs> oh, it's okay, it's okay. It's look okay. how tiny he is. Don't be scared. She, I thought. She? This one's a yeah, she. Look how tiny it is. It's a boy. We don't know. Oh, it's okay. We have to wait for it to decide. Yeah, yeah. 2020 piglets. <laughs> it's okay. 
Stop squirming. I don't want you to fall. No. It's okay, baby. Look at that. Oh, you're so warm. You were obviously snuggling with mom. Okay. Stop it. You're fine. There's mama down there. So big mama. Well, looks big compared to the piglets, but it's actually okay, pretty small yeah, still. I'm going to give you this one because she is shaking away. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello. Hello, can I touch you? She had triplets last Yeah. This is Cowboy? Budweiser's the dark brown one, right? This one's Budweiser? Yeah, he looks like, look, look at it. If you pour Budweiser in a mug, Oh. You get the white frothy yes, top, and you get that 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 blonde body. Yeah, right there. He's, that is a like Budweiser, a, right there. Yeah, it's like a mug of beer. <laughs> Why are you being a snob, Budweiser? Turn around. So this is Country Chris, <laughs> cousin Chris, rocking Kettle Acres. I'll I'll leave the link down below in the description. He has a few videos up on YouTube. I hear he's putting up another one soon. Yes, hopefully tonight, yes. This is their. Uh, their farm here. Yeah. And that one's Galaxy, and she's aborted. Okay, that's Galaxy. That that I thought was Budweiser last time we were here. Yeah, she's not, she's not mine. Okay. I just take care of her. Oh, she's just boarded here. Okay. You are good looking though. Look at you guys. Hey, bud. Yeah, I just got Cowboy, what is it, two months ago? Mm-hmm. And he's 15, pretty much untrained. This here, this cowboy, yeah. untrained. Yeah, so he's he's past his prime. And he's mm -hmm. got no training on him. Wow. Well, he's pretty well behaved. I mean, he's not yeah. breaking stuff down. Yeah, I know he's pretty good. I I've done some work with him since he got here, but mm -hmm. he needs a lot of work. He's got very he's got huge trust issues. Oh he's yeah. Afraid. Oh Budweiser, Budweiser's trying to hog all the attention. <laughs> All right, so we just returned. Does anybody care that I'm home or are you just excited that she's home? I think they just care that I got pooped on by a baby piglet. That smells like piggy poop. <laughs> hey, Frankie. Hey, man. Good to see you. No? Hey, Diesel. Hey, did you miss me? You missed me? Oh, you missed me. Thanks. Thanks for the acknowledgement. I'm here too. Good boy. Hey, Wiener. How you doing, buddy? Oh, you're acknowledging me. That was nice. Thank you. <laughs> well, just because you were coming this way. I see. Pretty much. Chevy. Hey, have you noticed I'm here yet? Chevy, look, I'm here. Hi. No? I'm important, too. I know you are here. Thanks, Frank. I appreciate that. Got a little sniff. Wonder what we're gonna name you tomorrow. Got any more stories for us? You were Frank the Magnificent yesterday. Were you happy with that title? He's never quite happy, he always wants more. It's never enough. Before you know it, you'll be claiming to be God Emperor of the solar system and galaxy. I don't know, his stories keep getting wilder and wilder. He's a good boy. <laughs> so it was fun going out to see the little piglets uh, we buy our eggs from them there. Uh, they got a whole bunch of free-range hens. I guess you'd call them laying chickens. Laying hens, right? Yes. Laying hens. And uh, so we get farm fresh eggs all the time. It's nice to be able to go pretty much just down the road and pick those up and fresher than anything you get at the supermarket and much better too. But anyways, I'm gonna end this here. Uh, if you wanna check out their channel, he hasn't uh, posted much to his channel uh, recently. It's called Rocking Kettle Acres. I'll leave the link down below in the description for you. He says that he has plans in the near future to start adding more content to it, but they own that farm there, and I'm sure they would love to have you as company in their channel as well if you want to go subscribe to them there. I also have a link to my second channel if you're into gaming and stuff down below in the description of this video as well. Go check me out there and subscribe there if you want to. You know the deal. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, the most important one. This is my main channel. I make daily vlogs on here. And we'll see you again here tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Who knows what we'll get up to and who knows what this guy's gonna claim he is tomorrow.